I get asked a lot to find a golf club manufacturer that doesn't have extortionate tour bills to pay for. Massive R&D teams, massive marketing companies. A golf club manufacturer that purely builds quality golf clubs for the sake of building quality golf clubs. And I might have just found one. Doing. Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon down here at Burford Golf Lab. Old Tom Golf. Just in case you didn't know what they're called, they've literally got it plastered all over this club. And before we get into this video, I want to ask the question, are you a driving iron, long iron player, or are you a hybrid player? I want to know the handicap, your club head speed, and which one you prefer. So I've had two hybrids sent to me, and these come as a set. And the interesting thing about this is, the cost of both of these are cheaper than the cost of pretty much every hybrid out there in 2019. Especially when we look at the top end of the market now with the Callaway Big Bertha 229 for one hybrid. And let's be honest, it's more of a three wood or a five wood than a hybrid itself. So I want to ask, what is a hybrid nowadays? What's the use of it? Who should have these in the bag? And at 150 for a set, are these cheap and nasty or actually a bit of a bargain? So the first thing we should look at is performance and when we pick up cheap golf clubs we automatically assume that they're not going to perform as well as the high-end brands. But I was surprised. I picked both these up and just like a watch they felt heavy and when you pick up a watch that's heavy you feel like it's worth it, you feel like it's quality, you feel like it's built well. Especially when I hit these out the middle, they were performing similar ball speeds to everything else I've tested this year. Even out the heel and toe, I actually got the forgiveness that I wanted. And the one thing that I do like about these, better than most at the moment, is that sharp line on the hybrid there. When I look at hybrids nowadays, they seem to sit so high off the ground. Like, you need to tee the ball up or it needs to be in the rough just to get it in the air. Whereas these actually have a very sharp groove. They basically sit to the ground with literally no bounce. Which for me, gives me confidence. And I imagine for someone that actually likes to hit a hybrid, having that ball pretty much square in the middle of the face before you've even hit it, is something that's reassuring. Something to actually give you a bit of confidence to strike through the golf ball and get it going towards its target. Now I've got stiff flex shafts in these hybrids and it either comes in regular or stiff. And unlike most manufacturers where you need a degree to decipher the inscriptions on the shaft, these simply say stiff. Well, I imagine the regular one says regular, which is actually quite refreshing. The whole hybrid itself felt counterbalanced, so actually it felt something similar to the Cobra hybrids that came out this year. And I normally pick up a hybrid and instantly put it down because it's so light. It feels like it's about to fly off out of my hands. And yes, I understand hybrids are designed for that more forgiving and giving that more high speed player that might need that higher launch, that might need that helping club head speed. But for someone that particularly doesn't like hybrids for the fact that they're chunky and cumbersome, I actually quite liked having these in the hands and potentially could, with a bit of a stiffer shaft, have these in the bag. Okay, let's talk about appearance. I want you to let me know what do you think about the appearance of these two hybrids? Do you like the look of them? Because it's very classical. There's nothing flashy about these. There's no TV screens on them. There's no hydraulics. There's no sliding weights. There's no adjustable shaft. However, I am an older golf club. And I know there's a lot of members here that don't like the flashy side of it. Don't like the bright yellow. Don't like the bright green. Actually, they just want something that they grew up playing with, but with a nice shaft in it and with a bit more added technology than what they used to have 20 years ago. That being said, the mat on the top, which I do like, because I like matte black, especially hopefully on my car when I'm older, it does mark quite easily. So you need a decent head cover and you need to look after the crown of them because I can imagine that head isn't going to last as long as some of the shiny TV screen models you see out there at the moment. So I like the product itself. I think it looks good, feels good, and the price point is definitely appealing. However, that price point comes at a cost, and it's not because of the quality of the club. I'll say the quality of the club is as high as any out there. It's actually the production and the dispatching of the equipment because the reason they can keep the price down is because they purely sell through the website alone. 
They don't sell to an outsource. They don't sell to a pro shop or a club fitter, which means that they get to keep the cost down, which is fantastic for yourself and your wallet. However, it does mean we're going back into the dark ages of guessing. You don't get to come in a simulator. You don't get to test any equipment. It doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna do the job just because it's got a three on the bottom of it or because it's 22 degrees and got a regular flex shaft. Yes, you can hazard a guess, an educated guess, but at the same time when it arrives and you pick it up and you hit it, but then all of a sudden it goes as exactly the same distance as your five iron or goes even further than your three would, all of a sudden you're not necessarily buying a rescue that's gonna cover that gap or for that particular par three that you might need it for. You might have a club that's completely obsolete and not necessary for your golf bag. Which means that you probably then have to take my word for it and these come as 150 for a set. Now, what I would have liked to see, and I think that they might have sold a few more, is that if they kept the three, that's the three, and made a five. When I was hitting these, yes, I hit the three further, but only a bit further. And that's with a very high club head speed. I can imagine a lot of golfers, if you did buy this set, you wouldn't see much difference between the three and the four, especially when you add all the miss hits out the rough out the toe into wind when you're having an off day which means that you kind of only want one of them and if you were to buy one of them they're now 99 pounds which again is a very good price for a product but how do you choose and again that's purely down to you making an educated guess the product I've, itself i feel is fantastic i like the look and feel of it but at the same time would i ever recommend someone going and buying a club purely on my recommendation or purely because they've seen a magazine. Not really. So I guess the question is, who are these for? I feel like these are a very nice, unique set of hybrids or even a hybrid for a beginner golfer. Something a bit out there, something nice and new, something that feels as current and everything else but isn't 220 pounds for a hybrid. As well as for your older golfer, all of a sudden you're going down to five to pitch and wedge or six to pitch and wedge, but you need something else just to close the gap between that and your three wood. Then potentially the four in a regular flex shaft might be a nice addition just for 99 pounds. So what is my full gone conclusion? If you want to bite the bullet and buy one or even two of these, take a bit of a gamble, take my word for it, let's say, then please do. However, we can see how hybrids have got to the price, or even three wheels or drivers have got to the price that they are now. As soon as you start rolling out demo kits, as soon as you start putting in pro shops for people to try, and as soon as you start getting simulators, all the costs start adding up, which means that we start getting 230 pound hybrids. Or you wait four years and buy it for 50 quid. So yes, I like the product. Yes, I think it's as good as anything out there. And I specifically like this kind of sharp line, which most three woods or rescues, I should say, have. However, you do have to take a bit of a gamble, a bit of whim, just to say, you know what, I need a hybrid in the bag. I like the look of this one. I'm just gonna wing it. So guys, there's my review on the old Tom hybrids. If you like the video, leave it a like. As always, please subscribe if you are new. Catch you guys later.